Hey guys, it's let's get popping. Today I have a bunch of packages to open. I think I have about five. Um, I have a mystery box from Gacha Robot, and this is something I made at the Funko headquarters. And then I have a Bonds and Noble package and a pop culture all the way from Australia. And I also have a Funimation box to show you guys. So I leave the mystery box for last because I'm really excited to see what I got in this. So let's leave this for last and let's open this that I made at Funko Headquarter, guys. So look, um, this is a do-it-yourself Freddy. Um, if you guys don't know, you go to Funko Headquarters. They have a section with um, pieces that you put together, kind of like a Lego, but not really. So what it is, um, there's a variety of things, pieces, Freddy Funko heads, monster heads with body parts that you choose and put together to make one pop. And then you pay $15 and that pop is yours. You can make whatever you choose to make. It's really pretty cool, guys. So I went there and I made this guy. I made this guy, guys. Well, he keep falling apart sometimes. Because this isn't glued together, which you can do, but this is Freddy. He's kind of like a cross between a superhero and a cowboy. <laughs> He's pretty cool though. I really, 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 really like him. So here he is, guys. They the only thing is they don't give you the insert to like put him in. So I'll have to figure out a way to keep him um upright in the box. But yeah, here he is. And his pop sign does not, oh, there you go. Superhero, Cowboy, Freddy. <laughs> I like him, he's cool. Okay, so I have this guy, which I need to put somewhere. Maybe I can put him right here. See, he stands pretty well. Cool. And I'll figure out something to do with this box. All right, guys, so that was that. Now let's get into another package. How about this one from Funimation, I think? So Funimation had this um, pop. It came out about a few months ago. It sold out. They actually oversold this product and then they, um, they had another restock. So I was lucky to catch one, guys. So here it is. They're kind of loose in the in the package let's make sure my address isn't showing there so i got beerus he's the flock one from dragon ball super he's a funimation exclusive have the sticker here he's pretty cool guys i'm so happy i was able to get him the paint job on this guy isn't the best though yeah it's not the best paint job guys the eyes look painted um over but hey i got him i got him for regular price and i didn't have to pay flipper, flipper fee so here here he is then i have natsu from fairy tale they had him in stock he's really cool he's holding like fire in his hand He's awesome. I like him. So, yeah. Those are my two order from Funimation. It, the box came really, really quickly, guys. They're awesome to order from. And then, guys, I have this huge pack. I think I know what this is from Bonds and Noble. Um, they tend to not always ship the best. So, I don't know how this looks inside. And I think this actually should be just one one thing in here yeah but it's pretty big from what i'm hearing whoa guys yeah <laughs> it's really really big i don't know if you can see this but look it's a huge pack i think this is like one of the biggest pack funko has ever done what's that bts guys 
Oh, there's tape on it. Why? Why is there tape on it? Now I have to get that off. Oh, let's not show my address. There. Oh, look, guys. It's huge, though. Whoa. Where am I going to fit this in my collection? It's pretty cool. It's sold out online. Um, so I'll have to find a way, a place to showcase this. But yeah, this is a group. Um, it's a pop rock. It's really awesome. I like them. And they also have singles of these guys. Um, you can order them, pre-order them with a lot of places. I know Entertainment Earth has them. But yeah. Um, Bonds and Noble is the only one that have that has all seven of them in one pack. So here you go, guys. Let's just put this down. Like this thing is huge. I still can't get over the size of that. All right, guys. So oh, guys, I have this to show you guys. This came out yesterday. Yeah, this came out yesterday. It's a Target exclusive. Um, my target actually had a bunch of these. I literally went in, I asked if they had them. The guy wasn't sure at first. He went in the back and he came, he, at first he came out and said he couldn't find them. But then someone called him on his radio and said that they found the box that had the pops. And so I pretty much was the first person to get one. And this is from um, the end game. Avengers Endgame. I got a medium, guys. It might be. I hope it's, it, it fits. Sometimes I can fit a medium, and other times it's like too big. But yeah, guys, here's the pop. I heard and I saw that the glow on this is really, really awesome. The box is in great condition. I like that. And this is Tony Stark, guys. From the new movie that's supposed to be coming out. And well, this month actually it's really awesome so here he goes right there well, let's put him behind here and then the t-shirt I want I want to check the size on this I think it will work yeah definitely I think it will work all right guys so yeah that's that right there then guys i have this huge um pop culture box came all the way from australia down under so guys i'm just gonna move this stuff out the way okay and i'll be right back okay guys so here is the huge well it's big enough pop culture box all the way from australia Let's see what's in there. The thing with pop culture is um, a lot of pops that you can no longer get in the US. Sometimes you can order them from pop culture. Oh, two box within a box, guys. So let's take this one out first and see what's in here. And let's, let's do this, guys. Let's put this on the floor right there. And then let's open this one. Pop culture tape this really well. I do like ordering from them. And um, shipping is really, it gets to you really quick. It's really good. So guys, this is a, um, a three pack that I just never got. And then it, it became really expensive to get this in the US. But then pop culture, like, pretty much um, put it on sale as a, a three-pack. But here you go, guys. Check this out. It's the Marvel Iron Spider Chrome. Has the um, pop culture exclusive or the foreign exclusive sticker. This is really awesome, guys. I'm so happy I'm, I didn't have to pay $60, $70 just for one of these guys. So... And then here's Thanos. This guy was going pretty expensive at first. I remember um, people were selling him for like $80. 
Um, but yeah, I think I paid 50 or 55 dollars ship for this. So that's not too bad. And then um, last is Iron Spider right here. Iron Man, I'm sorry, Iron Man right there. And then look like they give us a cup holder. That's nice of them. Cool. That's it. That's that box. Let's see what's in the other box. This one is bigger. Okay. Oh, don't fall. Whoa. And there is. Yeah. Nice. They do such a great job packaging these. And first we have a Tokyo Goo. Toka? I might have butchered that name, guys. But she's cool. I couldn't get I couldn't find her anywhere in the US. And then Pop Culture had her on sale. So I just, you know, I was ordering these three, so I figured I'll just get them too. And then I got I just never got the task. Master and I felt like he was such a cool pop. He looks cool. I like like the skull look on his face. I really like um pops like that. He has um a sword and a shield, you know. So I decided to get him. He's cool. Then from One Piece, I got Frankie. I think this is the last one I needed to um complete that set. And there he goes. And then I have Kent from Tokyo Ghoul. I know they also have a glow in the dark version of him. Um, but that one is pretty expensive. So I got the regular instead. And then I got Star Lord. I think there's a chase version of him. I kind of figure I want to get the chase, but he's cool. Once again, he has the mask on his face. He has guns in his hand. I'm drawn to pops like that, guys. They're super, super cool. And then to complete my um, this line up, I got Doug. And he's the flock version. Um, I think Hot Topic here had the flock version. But of course, it's pretty pricey. I got him for regular price, so... Awesome. And then lastly, I got this by now. Guys, it's Skeletal and Faker. You know, Funk, um, Funko is vaulting all the masters of the universe pop once again, like I said before. And this is just, just is so cool though. So I had to get this one. So there you go, guys. And then the last box that I have is that mystery box. Let's see what's in this bad boy. Okay, guys. I'm not going to close my eyes. I will try to show you guys first what it is. It's just one pop from Gotcha Robot. Okay, guys. Oh, it's in another box. Get rid of that. They always have these stickers on it. All right. Huh. It's a Mickey. It's from the Mickey exhibit. I actually don't think I have this one, guys. I do have um, quite a few of these. I think this one was also on the Funko Shop. It might actually still be on the Funko Shop. The only difference is the sticker. Where the Funko exclusive has the Funko sticker, this one has the Mickey Exhibit sticker. So I'll check and see if I have him. And if I do, I will be giving this one away. 
so there's my haul for today guys with these okay thank you so much for watching please subscribe like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification i also have a, a shumi mystery box coming i have a chai tong um collectible mystery box coming i have tons of stuff to open guys so please stay tuned stay tuned and thank you so much for watching